have any super favorite procedure, but uh, the ones I enjoy and do the most are breast surgeries. The women in my family were all big breasted and I wasn't. And I don't want to look like a boy naked anymore. I want it to look like a female. So you want an enlargement? Yes, I want. With this wide gap here and the fact that you do a lot of exercise, you have a couple of options. One is to go with saline or silicone. Saline implants wrinkle more than silicone, so we have to put those underneath the muscle. Okay. When we go underneath the muscle, it's a trade-off. So one of the problems is that the implant can never go past the muscle. So when you put your hands on your hips and flex, your breasts will jump. And it can be a little jump, or it can be a monster jump. The other option is to put the implants on top of the muscle. If I see a surgeon that goes under the muscle, over the muscle, and he customizes it to his patients, then I say, okay, that's a reasonable surgeon. If I see a surgeon that says, I put all of my silicones and salines under the muscle, then I don't have as much respect for that guy because he's really not customizing his surgery to the patient. So we're gonna go with silicone on top of the muscle if you wish to do that. You'll get a better cleavage, your breasts won't jump. Everybody said that I look happier. You wanna have respect for yourself and confidence in yourself and that's definitely what I got. I definitely got confidence. We do enlargements, reductions, and unusually difficult breast problems. Um, those are the challenging ones that really give you the satisfaction. I weighed about 100 pounds heavier than I did now, and because of that, I had size 36 to 38G breasts. I came back and I had lost the weight. My size went down from G to a 34 large C. I hung very low and it was, it made me very insecure and it wasn't something that my entire life I could go through with. Okay, so you lost 100 pounds and now you're sagging. Everything else tightened up pretty good. So what we have to do here is uh, an inverted T mastopexy. What we'll do is we'll relocate the nipples in the proper position and then we'll remove the extra skin and then push everything up and tighten it and he was able to lift and keep all of the tissue that I had and not have to put any silicone or anything like that in. Okay, so here, let's take a peek. We're at two and a half weeks. Another miracle of modern medicine. How do you like it? They're huh? awesome. He's done an amazing job. His consultation, he knew exactly what I wanted. Now definitely way more confident, way more comfortable, and I wanted something that looked like I had just lost the weight naturally and my body flowed naturally and that's what he was able to give to me. He did amazing work so if I need anything else done I'm going to him. 